Hey guys, this is Elise with Counseling Care Circle. I'm the organizer of the online video and event series Catholic Christian Friends for Intersectional Racial Healing. In this video, I will be sh sharing with you the pre-submitted questions which got selected um, by viewers and which my friends and I, the panelists, will be preparing responses for each discussion. They include the following. Danielle asked, which terms or term do you prefer? Anonymous asked, how do you confront family that seems to not care about racism? Susan asked, how can we provide a platform to really hear what our brothers and sisters of color are feeling and have experienced? Megan asked, how do you get people to have serious conversations about these topics when, in general, people have fewer conversations about easy things, let alone the hard stuff? Anonymous asked, my concern is the mob mentality when these events occur. Why is it that destruction of businesses, vehicles, fires, and criminal activity occurs? Nancy asked, based on your own personal experience, what percent of the U.S. population do you think are racist? Anonymous asked, I am a 60-year-old woman from the South. I grew up in segregation, and I hated it. My awkward question is, why am I immediately suspect by black people? Jessica asked, are you worried about white people patronizing persons of color in their attempts to learn to be anti-racist? Is there a line between learning, helping, and patronizing? Miranda asked, how do I increase diversity in my friend group without being insensitive? Every time I meet a person of color, I worry that I'll come across as wanting token friends. I want to make new, genuine friends but navigating my white privilege and their unique racial experiences is extremely difficult for me. Anonymous asked, what are actionable goals or tasks we can actually strive to accomplish? Bob asked, what questions or question should I be asking to better understand and empathize with someone who has a far different life experience? Michelle asked, do you think or believe that other minorities, basically, or besides black people, are being treated poorly in the same way? Anonymous asked, I'm a 60-year-old woman from the South. I grew up in segregation and I hated it. I am very aware that everyone has implicit bias, including me. When I see that in myself, I work on it internally. What can I do better? Bob asked, what can I do so that black lives will know that their life is safe with me? Michelle asked, in what ways do you continue to experience racism? Anonymous asked, how do I aggressively support and speak out against racism, witnessing police brutality and so much hate, and not allow the hate to penetrate my heart while I fight against it? Anonymous asked, do you think this current climate of racial division is all part of end times? Susan asked, how can we help race relations on a grassroots level in our communities so real relationships between different people can grow? Michelle asked, how did you first learn that people saw you differently? So we will discuss these questions. We may answer one or two others. Um, we're looking forward to engaging with what viewers have pre-submitted and we'd like for viewers to write on the feedback form as we go along on these conversations. The link for the feedback form is included in each video event link. Stay tuned.